we are not uh, really energy constrained. And so let me give you just a couple of numbers. If you take um, your body, your metabolic rate as a human, as just an animal, you eat food, that's your metabolism, you burn about 100 watts. Your power, your, your, your body is about 100. It's the same as a 100-watt light bulb. We're incredibly efficient. Your brain is about 60 watts of that. Amazing. And so, um, uh, we, if, but, you know, but if you extrapolate in developed countries where we use a lot of energy, on average in developed countries, our civilizational metabolic rate is 11,000 watts. So our, our, if in a natural state, you know, where we're animals, we're only using 100 watts. In our actual developed world state, we're using 11,000 watts, and it's growing. For a century uh, or more, it's been compounding at a few percent a year, our energy usage as a civilization. Now, if you take baseline energy usage globally across the whole world and compound it at just a few percent a year for just a few hundred years, you have to cover the entire surface of the Earth in solar cells. So that's the, re that's the real energy crisis, and it's happening soon. And by soon, I mean within just a few hundred years. And so we don't actually have that much time. 